Hey, this is Ryan with Tremonti. Today we're going to take a look at the WooCommerce buttons. So out of the box, WooCommerce and DV don't work the greatest together when it comes to button stylings. Um, if you go to your buttons in the theme customizer and you select button style and button hover styles, you can affect some changes, um, but ultimately You'll probably need to add some CSS to make it look uh, similar to the end result of your theme. So you can affect the text size and you can make the uh, text color different. Um, you can set the background color. Let's go ahead and make some changes here. Um, increase the transparency. Um, let's get rid of the border and uh, let's get rid of the border radius so that it's square or rectangular, um, both on uh, the initial display and on hover. Okay. And then let's give it a background that's different on hover. All right, let's refresh our page and see what changes were made. Okay, so you can see that it is now rectangular. The hover color did take effect, um, but the white text did not. Let's go into our general settings, layout settings. Theme accent color here is blue. Let's just change that to white. Okay, and you can see that it did change this to white, but unfortunately the blue stays when you hover over it. And it also affects some things outside of the buttons when you change the, the layout color. So let's change this back to something else. And let's affect it a different way. Let's add some styling so let's just force the text to be white here okay now you can see that it's white both the initial display and hover starting to look a little bit better than what it was let's click add to cart Okay, view cart looks okay. You can notice that the um, initial text color is that gray that we had selected, and the hover color is that um, blue. So let's also make this consistent with the look that we have for this one. And what we'll do is we'll just go into our inspector, and we can see that this is the um, WooCommerce A button WC hyphen forward. So just take this A button WC forward and add it to your theme customizer. Make sure the spaces are removed, add periods. And we'll just copy this color white Make sure the important tags there to override um, what's there already and resend. Okay, that looks better. Now let's go to our cart. We have several buttons on this page. We have the apply coupon update cart, which you can barely read because of that gray and proceed to checkout, which looks okay. So if you want to do a complete redesign of these buttons, one of the best ways of going about it is just adding a lot to the additional CSS area. So let's take a look at the proceed to checkout button. Let's add a lot here. So we've got the initial class, and then we've got the hover class, Okay, 
So I proceed to check out, looks pretty good. We've got the background as transparent. The color of the text is that orange, um, a little bit of extra padding to make it nice and long, but not too bulky. Um, we have a border that's four pixels because it's a double border. Um, we don't want it to span the entire width of this area, so we have it just at 70%. We wanted it to float right instead of left. Typically, that's on the left side. So let's just get rid of that and see what happens. Um, you know, we've added letter spacing, et cetera, et cetera. And then on the hover, we give the background the orange and the text white. You can see by default, if it's not 100% um, width, it'll just load on the left side. Now, one of the things that is very frustrating are these arrows. If we go to the buttons and button style, we can remove the icons. Uh, that'll remove it across the website. So if you don't want to do that, you just want to remove them for the um, WooCommerce buttons. Just add this code. Should capture most of them. And the nice thing about it is if you want to keep one, you can remove it from this list. Let's publish that. So hopefully these buttons, these arrow icons will go away. Okay. Now we still have this weird extra padding here but thankfully no buttons. So we can um, change this to how we have it down here where we don't have any extra padding on hover. So we, once again, we just want to go to our inspect element um, and this is um, the button button type. So let's just Add that here. Let's go to let's actually go to our card. make sure to give it this text color of white. There we go. Did the same for here. And now we've got to change that. So let's just give it um, about the same padding as what we have here. Maybe actually not that much. So let's just copy that. Actually, that looks pretty good. So you have padding on the top and bottom of five pixels and then 30 pixels on the left and right. And you can see that when you hover over it, it doesn't change in size. Okay, let's get rid of this. We have return to shop. It doesn't really let us Okay, return to shop, same deal here. Take out your inspector, a.button.wc backward. Let's just copy the class to make it easy on us. a.button.wc, oops. Just to verify that was, yep, okay. There we go. And we'll give it that same color and padding as we did for the coupon button. There we go. Maybe we want this to be capitalized. Publish. Okay, let's go back, return to shop. 
re-add a product into our cart and go to checkout. And place order looks good. But again, if it doesn't, just take out your inspector, button, place order, button dot alt. So let's just make sure we have the ID here. So button and the hash, and then, the, then you add the class. So let's go back to our customizer, hash ID. And the class, which is button alt. And make the text red just to know we affected a change here. There we go. This has been Ryan with Tremani. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. All of the code will be on the website.